Hey everyone, this is Nick from Quality Business Machines and in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to add cameras to the live view as well as how to navigate and use some of the live view functions within the Edge Recording Manager for GeoVision. So, now that we have added a uh, host to our Edge Recording Manager, if we go to the left here, we have our host list, and here's the one we added in our video before we labeled demo. There's a couple ways you can add cameras to your list over here on the right. Uh, if you click on the plus here at the demo, we have a camera list we can bring out, and here's the individual cameras. We can uh, click and drag them over and drop them in any window we want, one at a time. And if we go up here, this is the close all video icon, and that'll bring all the video out of your uh, camera layout. We can also go ahead and drag the entire host over and drop him in, and it will populate all your cameras. Um, if we go up to the top here where we see these different uh, sized boxes, those are the different layouts you can set up. So, uh, Obviously, whatever the, the layout on the icon picture is itself is what it will populate in the layout window. And from there, if we right-click on a camera, it brings up this little sub-menu. You can snap a snapshot of something really quickly. Um, there's some fisheye functions we'll get into later in another video. You can also individually close the windows from here by a right-click and then clicking on the close icon in case you wanted to remove one camera and put in another. If you had multiple hosts or multiple stores, uh, you could mix and match the cameras to whatever uh, best fits your needs. And if we come over here, there's a couple uh, weird little icons. One says fit to window. What that will do is use the entire box of the picture grid here. Uh, to fit the ca entire camera picture to that. It stretches the image, though, so it doesn't look very good, so I would recommend not really using it. And then the next icon over is the keep image ratio. That'll bring you back to the normal-sized picture where it's not stretched out. The following icon here is a full screen. If we click on that, it goes ahead and makes it full screen for you. If we drag to the top, we have our menu here where we can go ahead and click on the full screen again to get out. You can also hit exit to escape the full screen mode. And we went over this icon a little bit earlier. This is how we close all the cameras from our list and then we can re-add whatever we, we're looking for. Next to that, there's a little snapshot icon. This is another way to take a snapshot. If you were looking at something and you wanted to take a snapshot really quick, you could click on that and it'll save it. The two icons to the right here, uh, be very, very careful around them. This one with the red dot, if you click on that, it starts your recording at the DVR itself. Uh, it should always be recording, though. Now, the icon that you really never need to click, and I try to recommend everyone to be very careful with this, this one right here will stop your recording at the DVR itself. So uh, if you try to go back and watch footage after clicking that, there won't be any because the DVR is not recording. And if we come up here to the left, uh, and actually let's bring up our cameras in full first. If we come up here to the left, you can view them without having this host list down here. And if we go up to this host list icon right here and we click on that, it goes ahead and gets rid of it. And if we click on it again, it'll bring our list back up. So it's pretty simple, guys. It's just a drag-and-drop feature to get cameras in and out. Even with multiple locations, you'll find it very simple to use. Um, thank you for listening to our video on the live view functions of the Edge Recording Manager. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.